What's up guys, it's your girl Jazz. Welcome back. As some of you may know, I have a horrible sweet tooth and I was walking around in one of those natural foods, whole foods type of stores where, you know, more organic and healthy stuff I avoid. <laughs> Which I know I shouldn't, my body telling me otherwise that, you know, I really do need that stuff even though my taste buds say no. So as I was walking through, grabbing my fruits, vegetables, and things like that. I was walking down the aisles and I came across some sweets. And they are supposed to be healthy. It has non-GMO, fair trade ingredients. They're vegan. Oh, they have vegetables in it? Oh, man. I didn't know that. Oh, I'm bummed about this now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, there's nothing artificial in it. And supposedly... supposedly we're going to determine whether this is true or not. The taste is unreal. Well, obviously, that's a brand. Um, they also had, I think, like the regular um, hard shell chocolate comparable to M&M's. Um, I know they don't want to be compared to that, but, you know, essentially that's most what most people know them as, M&M's. Um, and then they have the dark chocolate peanut butter cups. And they, um, they also had, I think almond butter instead of peanut butter in it too. Um, so I just grabbed the two. I mean, I love peanut m and so hopefully these are worth it. And then, um, I can't go wrong with a good Reese's, so hopefully this is worth it. It says, it's time to stand up for goodness and fairness, for honest and yumminess. It's time to have some chocolate. Yes! <laughs> We're here to help change the world one snack at a time. Actually, it's gonna be two snacks, but anyways. <laughs> There's one non-GMO, nothing artificial, sustainable sourced, fair trade ingredients, unreal tasting snack, find you. Watch out world, good is back. So let's see what some of the ingredients, um, not sure, a lot of stuff. So, Obviously, one peanut butter cup is going to be one serving. There's a total of eight of these. Um, let's see. It has 80 calories for one peanut butter cup. Um, the calories for fat is 50. Not too bad. Um, I wish I had an actual Reese's peanut butter cup so I can compare the two. Um, I'll probably put it posted in the description below to kind of give you a little bit of a comparison. It has total fat is six. Um, saturated fat is two and a half grams. Uh, there's zero, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, 40 grams of sodium, not too bad. Seven carbs, one dietary fiber, so it does have some health benefits to it. At least that way you say you have your daily fiber, right? I mean, if you eat the whole thing, you have your, your fiber in there, right? <laughs> I'm so encouraging here, aren't I? <laughs> um, only five grams of sugar, not too bad. Like I said, I'm not sure about what's in a regular peanut butter cup compared to this one as far as the nutritional facts. Um, off the top of my head, and again, I really don't pay attention to those in candy. <laughs> I just worry about the taste, because if it doesn't taste good, then there's no point in having it. And it has one gram of protein in it. Let's see. It contains nuts in it. Did you know that? Okay, just wanted to make sure. Made in a facility that handles milk, tree, nuts, and soy. So it has some liquor in it. Oh, liqueur. It says chocolate liqueur. My bad. <laughs> Has cane sugar, uh, co cocoa butter, organic blue agave, um, peanut butter, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, that is the peanut butter cup. We're going to look at the, what are these called? Uh, chocolate peanut, but, or chocolate, dark chocolate peanut gems. So, we're going to look at the gems and see what's in these. Um, it says pretty much the same thing. The only thing we're more serious about than fun is the taste. Yeah, because if it doesn't taste good, nobody wants to eat it. <laughs> oh, so it is colored with beet juice, carrot juice, hibiscus juice, anatoa, anatoa extract, not sure what that is, tiramic extract, which is interesting, and red, cap red cabbage juice. Interesting. It has tapioca syrup, sugar, it has some gum in it. Ooh. Okay, so these should be chewed. Oh, gum akaji. Akaji? Sorry, guys, I cannot pronounce these words. And I'm pretty sure half of you can't either, so don't make fun of me. Although I know you will. <laughs> I make fun of myself, so it's okay. 
All right, so these don't have a very long shelf life. I just got these, so they're only going to be lasting for about six months or more like six hours in my house. Because I'll probably, if, if they're good, I'm going to inhale these suckers. Which one should I try first? Which one? Okay, I'm going to do the peanut butter cups. I got to save the best for last because the chocolate gems are going to be, oh, these are neatly packed. They're individually packed. I like that. So I don't have to worry about whether, you know, well, darn it. Now I don't have any excuses. <laughs> I can't say, oh, well, I don't want them to go bad. Unreal. This is, un this is not a good problem to have. <laughs> Otherwise I would be blaming you guys. All right. Little tiny things, but they're cutely made. Very good. So I do taste the. It has. It's dark chocolate, so it's not going to be the same as, say, an, a, um, a normal quote unquote peanut butter cup. I do taste that. I would like a little bit more peanut butter though. Say, so, look at it. I need a little bit more peanut butter. A little too much chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, something was trying to attack me and I, my candy. I will fight for my candy. Not bad. I'm not a huge fan of dark chocolate, but this is a good alternative, especially knowing that it's made from more natural sources and it's healthier. Good thumbs up. I hate it, and it's vegan friendly. Or it's vegan candy. You know, wrong with that. Not that I would, I'm vegan or anything like that. I love my chicken too much, sorry. As I would teach my niece, sorry. Or hashtag sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> All right. Is this made? Oh, this is dark chocolate too. I think they may only be using dark chocolate, which is, I guess, healthier. So I know dark chocolate is supposed to be healthier for you, but um, the peanut butter cups have a little bit of the bitterness from the dark chocolate. So like I said, maybe add a little bit more peanut butter to kind of balance it out. That would be my suggestion. Ooh, they're pretty. Look at these colors. They look like little Easter eggs. They're pretty. Want one? I can't pull myself. Oops. I definitely, I, I actually taste kind of a beet taste to it. So I'm thinking I ate a red one. Okay, the yellow one, I didn't taste a difference with it, but I swear I tasted some beets. And this is that, all these colors are, are natural coloring. I do taste a little difference to it, but nothing that all, you know, kind of discouraged me from eating these. <laughs> yeah, I don't think these are going to last for another six months, let alone six minutes. Now, I will say that it will take a slight getting used to because it's not, it has, you know, you can taste a little bit of the beets in it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I can taste a little bit something to it. It's not exactly normal. Plus, you have the dark chocolate to kind of add a little bit of the bitterness. I wouldn't discourage anybody from getting to it, but I do want to give you a little heads up. It does have a slight different taste to it. You can taste a little bit of the food coloring, so to speak, because they are using natural ingredients. But yeah, I would definitely. Sorry, I got candy shell on me. Can't let that go to waste. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely recommend these to anybody, especially if you're trying to eat friend, you know, healthier and you know, find more natural foods and things like that, and you still have a sweet tooth. I would definitely recommend this, but of course, like I said, I would you know give you a heads up. It does have a little bit of a different taste. 
especially if you don't give me the good stuff first. <laughs> now, as far as the nutritional facts for these, 16 pieces is 170 calories. So about a little bit more than 10 calories a piece. Not too bad. 100 calories of that is fat. Um, total fat is 11 with uh, 4.5 grams of saturated. It has zero fat, zero trans fat, excuse me, uh, zero cholesterol, zero sodium. A bit higher in the carbs, which is 17 grams, uh, but it has more fiber in it. It has two, two grams of fiber. And uh, higher in, in sugar, unfortunately, but if it's not sweet, it's not good. I have 13 grams of sugar and 4 grams of protein. So, if you're looking for something a little bit healthier, I'm going to go to the website and see if they have any other candies that I need to try that has a healthier option to it. Because I'll definitely be adding these to my sweet tooth collection. If you want to, you want me to try anything else out for you, review anything, let me know. I do have my giveaways that are listed below in the links. So make sure you go and enter while I'm munching on my candy. <laughs> also subscribe so you can see more of my goofiness and what other kind of crayons I get into. In the meantime, make sure that you stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.